Shout out to all my packet chasers. Packet chasers in the building. Appreciate y'all for Number coming six out question today. is, what interface on a router processes traffic for the native VLAN if connected to a switch? So we got a Cisco router and it says, what interface on a Cisco router processes traffic for the native VLAN? So we just gonna just go with VLAN one. If connected to a switch, the main int or sub interface configured with a dot one Q. It's going to be configured with dot one Q, of course. So which interface on a Cisco router processes traffic for the native VLAN if connected to a switch one? If connected to a switch. Very easy. The main interface or the sub interface that's configured with dot one Q encapsulation family. As I've told you guys, like, like, let's just say this is in F zero zero F O O. Let's just say that's VLAN 10. And then we're going to create a sub interface interface F zero zero dot 20. Just going to make it simple. F O dot 20, but you get it. F zero dot 20. That's going to be VLAN 20 could be your native. We just gonna make that the native for this situation. All of these for that port for that to be trunk, it's gonna have to definitely be encapsulated with the dot one Q encapsulation family. So as I said once again, which interface on a Cisco router processes traffic destined for the native VLAN if connected, if the router's connected to a switch. As we said. Either the main connection, F00, or the interface that's configured with dot one q Shout out to all my packet chasers. Packet chasers in the building. Appreciate you for coming through today, family. I'm going to tell you this right now. You must study every day to get your CCNA, family. Me, personally, I'm going to be testing for my CCNA in 90 days. If you use a packet chaser, we having a 90 day CCNA challenge, 90 day CCNA challenge. So we saying by the 1st of April, we going to be CCNA out the game, 90 day CCNA challenge. Shout out to all my packet chasers, packet chasers in the building. Make sure you stay tuned for more tips as we are on our way to getting our CCNA.